Hi guys, I'm XPH3 Bandit, and welcome to an unboxing. This is only going to be a quick unboxing because obviously I'm not putting the motherboard together now. But this is the Asus Republic of Gamers Crossblade Ranger motherboard. It's uh, AMD um, FM2 Plus socket with a A88X chipset. Runs AC A series. AMD processors. Uh, it has Crossfire technology in it, so it can run two graphics cards at the same time. I think it can even run more than that. Uh, and then it's Windows 8.1 ready, but it also works on Windows 10, which, as you know, came out last week. Right. So that's pretty much when you get the box. It'll look something like this. Uh, We've got a lot of information here about all the different features, all down here, and then here we've got a little map of the motherboard that shows us everything. So it shows us what each of the buttons on the motherboard does, it shows us where all the headers are, so there you can see we've got USB 3.0 there, and we've got, I think 2.0 is somewhere down here. and. Then obviously we've got the FM2 Plus socket, the A88X chipset is right there, and I think this thing up here is meant to be the Gamers Guardian system. Uh, they've also got a Gamer First, um, a Game First 3 Intel Gigabit Ethernet port, which is a much better Ethernet port because it's protected against a lot of uh, damage that can be caused by ordinary use. It shows you up here what the difference is between all the ports and everything. And um, right, so this comes with a few things. You might have noticed on the front it says there look uh, Republic of Gamers mouse mat inside. So that's because Getting this product enrolls you to in, into the Asus Republic of Gamers, which is a big online group that pretty much is just for gamers that own stuff like this. So, right, we're going to open it up, and when you first open it up, all you're going to see is the motherboard on the top, like so. Uh, you probably can't see much in there at the minute. I'm not going to take it out of the anti-static bag because I don't want to damage it, but that's roughly what the motherboard looks like, something like that. So if you grab hold of either side of the motherboard, so the cardboard bits at the side of the motherboard, you can pick the motherboard up and move it across to the side, and here, so this is everything that comes with it, as you can see we've got some extra headers there. Just going to put those over to the side. We've got here four SATA cables that are included with this for obviously adding disk drives and yeah, all, all sorts of hard drives all that sort of thing. And then we've got the I think it's nickel IO plate. That's the IO shield. That obviously protects all the connections on the motherboard. It goes here. So that's at the front there. Uh, then we've got the installation CD for all of the drivers. And if I can just get that into the centre there. You'll notice there's a little shield in there. That's an adhesive shield. A metal adhesive shield. Republic of Games shield that you can put on your computer. You can put that anywhere on your case. So we'll put that at the front. And then we've got the uh, here the user manual. Obviously, as you can see, some very light reading. And then we've just got a few different things like a quick start guide, and then obviously the warranty form, and then we've got safety information there in several different languages. And next, I'll show you this script. This, I think, is pretty cool. Uh, we've got here some SATA cable labels for 
all the different hard drives, for the disk drives, all that sort of thing, so that you can mark them off. And then, obviously, the other bits that come with it. Here we've got a Champion in Action door hanger. This, uh, as you see there, enter, um, enter, champion on break, do not enter, well, do not disturb, champion in action. And then the Republic of Gamers part, this big Republic of Gamers part, the official mouse map, as you can see there, a quite nice pack on it of the robot. And so pretty much that's it. That's all that comes with the motherboard. That's everything that is there. Uh, the motherboard will be put into my computer soon. I may have to get a power supply before I put that in. Uh, so it may be a while before I actually put the motherboard into the computer. But I can assure you there will be a video of that. Which I will make sure I put up on the channel. Same place where you'll see this video. And several other videos. Uh, if you've kept track of the Facebook page at all you'll have noticed that at the same time that a picture went up of this box I also put up a picture of another box which was my new UPS it's an APC UPS which I am going to do an unboxing of quite soon and I'll do a set video of that as well and well that's pretty much it guys so thanks for watching and please remember to uh, Subscribe if you haven't already, like this video if you uh, found it helpful, and well, that's pretty much it. So comment any ideas or things you want to see, if you've got any questions about the board itself, then feel free to put those in the comments, and I'll put a link to this in the description on the ASUS page. But thanks for watching, and goodbye.